Hey, welcome to the Duran channel. And this box is the iFlight Titan XL5 frame. So it's a five inch FPB frame. This is the iFlight XL5 frame. And it's the HD version. And what I really like about it is this. It comes with pretty decent instructions. Well, at least the layout where you need to go. And all the screws are labeled. Yeah, that makes it really nice. Makes it easy to track anyways. And um, yeah, it's uh, pretty nice. So let me get started in building it. And then when I'm done, I'll show you all the parts. So. Let me show you what's left of what's in the box is this. These bumper guards that you come with it and all these 3D TPU printed accessories that holds your camera and your air unit in the right place because this is the HD version. Yeah. I'm using a Mamba stack flight controller is the F405 MK2 stack. Motors are Zings from iFlight, they're 2207s, 2750 KVs. For the VTX, we'll be using the DJI Air Unit, and we'll show double as the receiver. So, this video is about how to wire your stack with the iFlight. As you can see, I've already done the soldering uh, for the ESC on this flight controller. You see the little cable right here? This will be, be plugging into the flight controller top. So this is the ESC. And you can see this is the ESC for motor 4, motor 3, motor 2, 1. I've done the soldering already. And this is what it looks like. I'm going to cut on another light. So today's build I'm going to be using the TS100 soldering iron. I'm going to be using this electric screwdriver. It's a 28 in 1 screwdriver. As I mentioned earlier, this is the Mamba stack and it comes in this container right here. Soldering iron clean, the TS100, as mentioned earlier. I'll be using this copper Brillo pad to keep my tip nice and clean while soldering. The DJI FPV air unit comes with two antennas and it comes with a really neat little package as you can see. It comes with instructions right here. Uh, the FPV air unit instructions. It comes with a diagram and like I mentioned, here's the two antennas for the air unit. This is the air unit right here. After you get it powered on, you got to register it using the DJI Assist program. And you have to use the latest version. Um, for the build, I will be using these diagrams right here to do the connection to the flight controller. Beautiful thing about the iFlight, I'm sorry, the Mamba stack right here you can see that it comes with this template that gives you where all the pads are on the flight controller as you can see I've already soldered my beeper to the flight controller and this is a I hmm, what is this let me get it out oh yes it's a V fly it's a V fly Finders Mini Beeper. So, with that said, 
let me let's get everything lined up on the frame and get my documentation ready and we'll do the build put the frame back in the middle we got to Oh yes, I forgot to mention that I'm using a GPS unit. All these parts that are TPU parts here came with the frame. It's a really nice frame. Highly recommend this frame. Really thick. You can see six millimeters. It's gonna be strong. Very strong. Like that. Top plate on it. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's gonna, it's, these are not the right screws, but get the right screws here, I guess. Just to kind of hold it in place. Put some screws out. So 
So there it is. It looks good. I really like how it came out. You can see the stack. It's looking pretty good. It's a clean build. Easy. Five inch basher. Camera's right here. And then I'll just mount the antennas a little later. But yeah, looking pretty good. All right, need to take a break, get some dinner. And then I'm just going to go ahead and continue on. All right, this is the second battery on the maiden. 